Okay, I'm doing the math again. If you go uh, 1,260 days plus 1,290 days, you get 2,550 days. Okay, now, if you do 365 days a year times 7, you get a five-day difference. So our calendar is five days, but there's two leap year days. So you add two. 1,250, uh, 1,500, I'm sorry, 2,557 days. That's September 23rd, 2021 ends up being 1,500, I'm sorry, 2,557 days from September 23rd, 2014. But, the number that God gives is 2,000, 2,550 days. So you get the seven day, there's a seven day gap at the end of the age. And those are the numbers. Those are facts. You can. I challenge anybody. Get out there. Starting September twenty third, two thousand fifteen. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, fourteen, two thousand fourteen, and do the math. Figure out one thousand two hundred ninety days and one thousand three hundred thirty five days. Remember, it's one thousand two hundred ninety days, and then when that day ends, the one thousand two hundred sixty days begins because the 1,260 days are the last final 1,260 days that the two witnesses prophesy. And at 1,260 days, they're put to death for their faith. And then three and a half days later, they're raised from the dead. So that would end up being literally three and a half days middle of the week of that last final week. That last seven days, it would be three and a half days in when the Lord returns. Remember, they're put to death at 2,250th day, which is the second half, which is the 1,260th the, the day that began April 6, 2018. Okay, so starting from September 23rd, 2014, uh, you go 1,290 days, ends up April 5th, 2018. Then... April 6th is day one of the 1,260 days of the two witnesses. Okay, you calculate that out to, to 1,000, I'm, I'm sorry, 2,250 days. Okay, but the, Amer the calendar, September 23rd, 2017 is three and a half, is seven days later. There's a, there's a literally a seven day week at the end of the age. And three and a half days into that seven day week is when the Lord returns. And the and the very last day of that seven or the uh the very last day of the two thousand two hundred and fifty days is also the very last day of the one thousand two hundred and sixty days, if that makes sense. But in one I'm counting from April sixth to the end. And the other I'm counting April 6, 2018 to the end. And the other I'm counting from, from uh, I think it's pretty clear what I'm saying, from September 23, 2014, that's the 2,550 days. Okay, So there's literally a seven-day period in between there from the actual day that the, the two witnesses are put to death for their faith. Then there's a three-and-a-half-day period where um, they're raised from the dead at, at three-and-a-half days. And, the, and when they're raised from the dead, the Lord says it is finished, and he comes back and returns. Okay, so that, ought to, that might answer some prophetic questions for those of you who are prophetic scholars and are wondering, well, where's this three and a half days come in? 